what is up you guys and welcome back to the channel now today is a really really nice day outside I really want to spend some more time outside I want my son to spend a little bit more time outside but like a little warm so we're gonna set up a little pool for him so now take some time to set everything up I think he's really gonna enjoy it All right, the pool is finally done. This was the most extra of extra kitty pools I have ever seen. <laughs> but you know what? He looks like he's having so much fun in there. Listen, look, 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 look at Ducky. Look at Ducky. Ducky. Whee! Go get Ducky. Go, Go get, get him. Go get him. <laughs> oh, are you having fun, bud? Are you having fun? So now we're back in the house. We had some fun playing in the pool outside. I'm testing something out. Now, today I am going to be using this box mix. I don't normally do a box mix, but this is just a test of theory. I'm gonna be working with this box mix today, but I'm also going to be adding a mystery ingredient. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, I really want it to work because I want this to all, it, it, it was in a list of what kind of projects I wanted to work on. And I figured now is a good time as any to try it out. I'm not gonna tell you what the mystery ingredient is. I'm not gonna show you its packaging. I'm not gonna show you what it looks like. I want you guys to guess. I want you guys to comment down below and I want you guys to try and guess to see what mystery ingredient I'm using today. And who knows, maybe with all your guesses will be a next project I'll work on. If I like your guesses, I will work on another project that will have that ingredient that you mentioned. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so in this bowl right now, I have the three eggs, the half a cup of oil. I also got a little bit of food color in there just to help visually see what flavor it is that we're going for here. Um, and now I'm going to add the mystery ingredient, which does replace the one cup of water that goes in here. 
and I'm going to make it so you guys can't exactly tell what's going in here. All right, I hope that didn't give away too much. So here's the mix going in now. We're gonna mix this up a bit, and we're gonna pan it out, and then we're gonna bake it. So the batter was mixed, it was scooped, it was baked, and now it's been sufficiently cooled, and here's how it came out. I'm actually pleasantly surprised of how these came out. Um, it's still very soft and they're very like fluffy for, for having a mystery ingredient that I really had no idea would change the chemistry of the entire mix. Now, we gotta taste it. That actually tore away very easily and very clean, so I'm very pleased with that. And now we're gonna see how this tastes. I mean, it still tastes good. I don't think what it was trying to do was successful. I'm not tasting what I'm supposed to be tasting or what I'm tasting for. Because I can either A, add more of the mystery ingredient, or B, add the mystery ingredient as a soak for this. So at least if it's in a soak, I can still taste it. Or I can have a buttercream that's flavored with the mystery ingredient to kind of really, really drive that flavor home. But all in all, I can taste it a little bit. And we'll chalk this up as a partial success. That being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.